Moms of Reddit, what is a wild secret of your past that your kids rather not know about? I was a sugar baby in college. Made a lot of money but blew it all on dumb stuff. Also, my best friend from college and my roommate had the same sugar daddy. My kids call her aunt, they love her and she loves to babysit. My roommate and I had a lot of sex with each other. It was enjoyable, but mostly due to our daddy, he obviously found it hot. I was also submissive to both of them. Mommy did some nasty things. My mom told my siblings and me on Easter when I was 14 that she used to be a child prostitute for the accuser. She told us because her sister was going to tell us because she felt like my mom had stolen her daughter and was using it as a bargaining chip. My cousin came to live with us across the country because her mom was in jail for drug abuse. Not sure how wild this is, but right before I was born. Like two or three days beforehand, my dad's older cousin had a daughter born severely unhealthy. She wasn't still born but she wasn't going to make it past a few days. So anyway, after I was born my dad's aunt came into the delivery room and said to my mom, you two are young, you'll have plenty of time to have another child, but my daughter can't. Let me buy this baby off of you. I only found out about this when I was around 15, because my sister told me, Apparently my parents never planned on telling me this. I'm still getting details of this story as I get older, but my mom was apparently a party animal in college who could drink everyone under the table. It got so bad she had a semester where she, apparently, was in danger of flunking out. She was popular with guys, too, and was engaged when she met my dad on a Caribbean vacation she took without telling anyone. When I was growing up, my mom phrased herself as a 4.0 high achieving student who never fucked up once in her life. When my wife let it slip around her mom that she was having a lot of lesbian urges, her mom just waved it off and said, been there, done that, didn't like it. By how furiously grossed out my grandmother acts when anyone brings up me or lesbianism, I've wondered if she ever had experiences in her heydays. But from what my mother says, she's had a pretty stunted unfulfilled sex life. Almost sad until it isn't cause, you know. No one's fault, but your own at that point. My mum told me once, while she was tipsy, that my dad was actually her high school teacher, and they began a sexual relationship when she was his student at the age of 16. She said they would often have sex with her in school uniform. They managed to keep everything under wraps for years, and they got married when she graduated from college and gave birth to me a few years later. It's shocking how common this is. One girl I graduated with immediately and openly began dating her math teacher as soon as she graduated. They are married now. Few kids and seem genuinely happy. On the other hand, another teacher, science teacher, guy taught all the AP science classes, left his wife when he knocked up a senior cheerleader. Ended up marrying the cheerleader once she graduated. They stayed married for 6 years, when he cheated on her with another student. Apparently the irony was lost on the former cheerleader. A Spanish teacher, guy in his late 20s, used to be uncomfortably close with his female students. He would invite students to his home for dinner and extra studying. Apparently they were just smoking weed and he was trying to hook up. How do I know this? He invited my then girlfriend to one of these parties with 3 or 4 other girls. She went, but left and felt really dirty when he pulled out the weed and tried to get them to smoke. She'd never smoked weed and had no desire, so she just excused herself. She told me a few days later. She also said she couldn't tell on him to the administration because her friends liked going and didn't want her to be a rat, so, this was an open secret in the school. In fact, it became a running joke that, if girls went to his house they'd automatically get A's. This dude continued to have a job for another decade before he was fired. Everyone knew what he was doing, but none of the girls who went ever came forward, out of enjoying the parties, or out of peer pressure, and the administration couldn't act on rumors and innuendo. And this was all in some small town in Bumf Middle America. It's effing insane how much it happens. I grew weed legally, when I did it my straight lace father went on a long speech about growing techniques and tips, about two thirds through he kinda stopped and stared at me and my brother and adds the addendum, 
So I've heard, Eater threw it or my mom was shooting daggers at him. Back in the 90s, I flew to Canada, and spent the weekend with a guy I'd been talking to in a chat room. Growing up my mother was a titan. She graduated top of her class in her farm D, and chaired several major drug regulation boards. She was always very serious about school, and we were told that bees were absolutely unacceptable, because she was a straight A student all through college. We took that to heart, up until I was cleaning out the attic a few years ago, when I discovered some old grade reports from college. Guess who got a C in sociology, and another one in linear algebra? Tough take mom. Tough take. I just learned that I was likely conceived on Easter, when my mom wore a crotchless lace onesie, and teased my dad all night, and then I was born 9 months later. FML. At least there's some passion there. I was conceived during a hurricane because no TV. My friend was an obnoxious little brother, and would frequently pester his older brother, by yelling, you were an accident. Mom and dad went to a ski resort to make me. My mom used to date a drug lord in Birmingham, but was practically his crack whore. He raped her, she had my brother, and to get away from it all, she joined the military. Dude ended up going to prison at the same time, and was stabbed to death just a few weeks in. My mother didn't tell us or my brother, until he was around 35-ish. My first born daughter I had at a very young age, I was 18, in grade 12, skipping every single day, partying all the time, and hanging out with a drug dealer at the time, that's her dad. He and I are not together, I moved on and got married, and he is currently engaged, and he stopped dealing shortly after we found out I was pregnant. We co-parent really well actually, and he is now quite the stand-up father. All our daughter knows is that, her mom and dad didn't love each other so we separated, and now she's lucky to have two moms and two dads that love her very much. She's now 7. I'm wondering if it'll ever come out later about how her dad and I met. Ahahaha. <laughs> My mother always smiled at me. I can't remember seeing her without a smile. When I grew up, I discover she have chronic crippling depression. Edit, corrected my bad English. Thanks for the gold and silver, I wasn't expecting that. Well I just visited my parents, I talked a lot with her and told her that she that I'm proud of her, and that she can count on me. I can't talk about her depression directly but at least I hope that make her feel a little bit better. Despite her depression. She's the strongest person I know. To the world, you may be one person. To one person, you may be the world. By Dr. Seuss. Daughter of a mother with a wild secret, my dad was abusive, an extreme alcoholic and hit her regularly, so she kicked him in the balls so hard that he couldn't have kids, after me, obviously. He's dead now, drunk driving, he took four people with him. My aunt got tipsy and told me everything. Just found out last year that my mom got pregnant in college, the guy split as soon as he found out, and she never saw him again. She decided to have the baby, avoided going home when she was showing, and gave it up for adoption. My grandparents never knew, they died a few years ago, and I found out due to an Ancestry.com DNA test. My half brother contacted me and we pieced it together. She was relieved that it all came out in the end. It had been weighing on her all these years, she's in her 70s, I'm 40 now, and my new half brother is 52 or so. Needless to say, it was a huge surprise, I never in a million years would have guessed at that. This also happened in my family, same exact scenario with the adoption. Everyone is really accepting of it, it's a beautiful thing. My mom was a crazy native child that started smoking at 10. Smoke or choke as my grandma put it, sold single cigarettes in elementary school, once burned down a patch of forest because she was playing with fire with her friends, smoked her brother's weed and drank with her dad, and ran away from home at 19. Now she scolds me and my sis for swearing in front of her. This will get buried and this story is from my dad. When I was 19 and visiting home from college, my dad and I stayed up getting pissed drunk. When I told him about my love for psychedelics, he clapped and said, I knew it. 
I asked why and he stated that, your mom was the acid queen, and we learned she was pregnant with you when she was 4 months in. We were tripping for your first couple of months. What would you do if you found out your parents had a secret past? Leave it in the comment section below.